So hello everyone. Uh, hope you are all doing well. And today we're gonna start with the second day of ML Study Jam. Make sure to call your friends. Today Shushant is going to cover some basics of Python and NumPy. This is a very interesting topic. And for doing ML, it's very necessary to have good knowledge of. So enjoy the session. Over to you, Shushant. Okay. Thank you, Ashu. So. Like, uh, okay, uh, we're gonna wait for more, uh, another two minutes. Just give me a second. Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, for uh, those who have joined through the meeting link I have shared in the groups, please make sure to join through the RSVP portal uh, for the ML Study Jam link too. Since if you will join through the RSVP portal, you will get automated attendance. Your attendance will be marked automatically. Else, uh, for marking your attendance, uh, some have to volunteer. And we're not gonna do so. So please make sure to join through the RSVP link. You all have received the RSVP link on your emails. Kindly join from there. And uh, just an um, overview of this entire series. So this is going to be six session series of ML Study Jam. After six sessions, there will be an interview. All of you have to crack that particular interview and submit a project. After that, you will be getting a certificate of appreciation from RIT. If anybody having any question, feel free to uh, ask or Shushant is going to continue this session. Okay, like uh, one more thing. Uh, you all have joined the WhatsApp group, right? Because I may be... Yeah, Shushan, some, uh, uh, you find if you can share the uh, link for today's session via the portal and also the WhatsApp group in the uh, link in the chat box. Yeah, sure. Since because... I'm out of... Out yeah, okay, of okay. Um, 
capable yeah i will not able to do so okay okay yes. yeah vaishali you all will get the recordings of this session live on youtube by uh, monday or tuesday okay because i want all of you to join the whatsapp group as i will be sharing some files basically some data sets which are going to use to like we're going to work on okay so ujwal are you there yeah i'm here okay let's just share the whatsapp group if possible in the whatsapp uh, like on the chat box of this meet yeah. and also paste the session link for today all right okay you know if uh, if your friends want to join this ml study jam please you are more than welcome to join this session because today we are uh, not only going to work on python we are going to uh, learn about the numpy and about pandas uh, and even if you know what is pandas like have you ever worked on framework i think or library yeah it's a library basically like yesterday we talked about numpy right numpy is basically numerical python okay like whatever the numerical functions which we are going to use in python is going to be uh, like we use for that we use uh, numpy and pandas are basically used to like as you said the data frames or you can say the data sets the excel files or whatever the data we are going to use for our models we are going to use pandas for that for importing those files for applying certain function or that data files we are going to use pandas so today we are going to see how pandas works and then after that we will create a small machine uh, linear regression model and we will going to predict some output some values based on certain inputs and i will show you both the methods like one is a long method how you create a machine a linear uh, regression model from scratch and the next one is the short method like just importing a certain library sk learn and from there okay you can just write linear function function and linear regression function and from there only you can run the model so please free to call your friends if they want to join the session it's going to be it will like yesterday was a boring part because we just covered the theory part but today uh, please and yeah please join with the laptop okay please join with laptops and just open the collab we are going to continue from Yeah. Can I have, uh, ask one question? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Sir, uh, as you said about pandas, a library of Python where we studied about data set. So under this, uh, our uh, data, sorry, pre-processing data set is uh, also included. No, for pre-processing, we will use some other functions. As I like, I just said, uh, Scikit-Learn. It's a very good library where which includes basically all the machine learning functions or models, whatever we require. Okay, Pandas is just uh, basically for the actual files or whatever the data sets we are going to import in our uh, whatever file, Python file. Like we are going to work on it. Uh, I will show you an example. Like if I have an Excel sheet which contains certain data, and we want to uh, import that data in our like you know python file so with the help of pandas we can do we can do so certain pre processing parts will be done for uh, from pandas like uh, you know if we have certain missing values in our data set okay then to fill those missing values uh, we will use python uh, pandas function certain pre processing parts will be done got it okay yeah so are we good to go uh everyone join the whatsapp group okay so let me just start by sharing my screen please confirm it's if it's visible okay uh is my screen visible yeah so everyone have uh, like open that collab notebook yes sir if anyone have any problem please uh please ask ojol or rohit will help you okay so like mm, this was uh, what we did uh, we did yesterday right like we imported numpy as np and then just uh, like like uh, 
creating a small array and then printed at array, whatever. Another important, uh, another we can uh, think the numpy we can do is like I just said, why our, like yesterday someone asked why we use uh, like numpy instead of uh, original Python arrays. So like I just said it, uh, the what the array in Python is basically they uh, they do not support the two dimensional uh, arrays. So with the help of numpy we can do so. Like for example, if I just write in write import numpy as np and I create an array like np dot sorry array and if I want to create a multi dimensional array, so I'll just create bracket one comma two comma three and then again one more you can see four comma five comma six all the brackets are clear right and if i just print the array and if i run this see so it's select uh you can just say a matrix or you can uh, like two cross three matrix but see it's a two it's a 2d array okay with the help of normal python uh, uh, arrays they cannot do so so these are some things uh which we require. So that's why we use NumPy in Python. Okay. You can. So, Shan, you can do the same using the list in Python. So, why we are using NumPy array? No, just uh, that's uh, another thing. Like, uh, yeah, we can do so uh, with the help of list. But here we are uh, not, not only for this one, uh, this certain purpose only, but for other purposes also, we use NumPy. But by simply like, uh, you can use uh, by simply using numpy we can uh, not just only create the multi dimensional arrays but there are certain other functions also which we require for machine learning models so that's why we use numpy okay got it thank you okay so like uh, this was numpy another thing uh, like uh, okay what are the other features which uh, we are going to use by using numpy we'll see as to, uh, like jaise sama ke pati jayenge we can dekhte jayenge ki what are the other features we can use in NumPy? Uh, let's come to pandas. Okay. Like I just said for, you know, reading these files or uh, for creating the machine, uh, the pre-processing part or whatever the other things are, we're going to use pandas. So to import pandas, we'll just write import pandas. Okay. And just click on run. It will import pandas. Okay. But to short it, I can just write input pandas as pd because I don't want to write every time pandas. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This sounds good. So, like I just said, uh, have you all joined the WhatsApp group? Because I will be sharing some file. Mm, like I have this thing file. Yeah. See, you see, you can see this Excel sheet. Okay, right. See, uh, this, uh, it's an Excel file, which uh, almost having 200 entries. Okay, like almost uh, like 170 entries. Okay, and four columns. Basically, these columns: duration, pulse, max pulse, and calories. Okay, these columns we can call as as the features or the attributes. And these are data entries. Okay, for duration of 60 seconds, I got a pulse of 117 and max pulse, which was 145 recorded, and the calories burned were 479. Okay, so this is a data set. You can see there are certain missing values here. Okay, so it's a data set, and we are gonna work on this data set. Okay, so I will be sharing this file on the WhatsApp group. Okay, just let me share. Is everyone uh, like, am I going too fast? If anyone uh, like having a doubt, you can please raise your hand or like ask in between. OK, 
like uh, share your data uh, a file in the whatsapp group did you all receive that okay Okay, okay. Please raise your hands if you have received the file and downloaded it in your laptop. Okay, okay, great. No, okay. Please do. What's the proof with the previous slides? If any of that, there. Okay. Okay, Rishabh. Uh, okay, till now uh, I haven't discussed anything much. I just uh, like gave a brief about what we are going to do today. Okay, so like yesterday we just have a small intro about what is NumPy and how we are going to work on uh, like how we are going to use NumPy. Then I said that uh, we are also going to use uh, use pandas. Pandas is another library in Python which we use to like. you know work on the data set or data frames okay so i just shared a excel sheet in the whatsapp group the excel sheet is basically a data set okay uh, which uh, mm-hmm. on which we are going to work today so please uh, like uh, open a join with the laptop and open the collab google, google collab file and then i'm um, please download that excel file which i just shared because now i'm going to show you how to import that uh, excel file in your data set in your python notebook okay okay the whatsapp group link i think is shared on the okay i can again share this join this okay i'll share it again Okay, another one minute, and then I can start. Okay, shall I resume? You can say yes. Yes, yes sir. Okay, great. See, uh, okay, on the left hand side, you can see these three dash lines. Okay, table of contents. Click on this. and this page will pop up okay like this sidebar will come up and then at the bottom you can see file option okay just click on that files so uh, can you repeat please okay okay see you are, you you're on this page okay oh sorry sorry my screen is not visible sorry 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 Okay. Mm-hmm. Sorry. So you all are on this page. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now just see uh, this uh, three lines table of contents at the left hand side. Click on this, and then at the bottom there will be option of files. Click on files. This thing will like open up. and then the first option upload uh, to session storage click on this okay 
and then your like uh, file manager will open up and wherever you have downloaded that Excel sheet that I just shared, click on that Excel sheet and click open. Uh, so, can you re please repeat it again? Who are you, Rachi? Sorry? So, can you please repeat it again? <laughs> okay, sure. See, uh, just click, uh, first, just click on this three lines table of contents in the left hand side. Then click on files option at the bottom. And then there is a uh, first option upload to session storage. Click on this file. And then wherever you have downloaded that Excel sheet, which I've just shared, click on that file and click open. It will be like the Excel sheet will be automatically imported in your, you know, online session. That uh, collab file. Okay. Everyone have like downloaded that file? Yes, sir. Okay, great. Then, okay, just close it. And all of you have imported pandas? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, now to import yes, the CSV file in pandas, we have a function called read underscore CSV. Let's see how you're going to use this. If you just create a function like BF, data frame, this say you can name whatever you want. I have named that as DF data frame is equal to PD. PD is a function uh, library pandas, which I just imported dot read underscore CSV. Okay. And then open the brackets and then just address the, uh, and then paste the path of that CSV file. Okay, so what was that CSV file? Okay. Let's click on this data to left side of the file or data mm, no, CSV file. Just click on the three dots and there's an option copy path. Okay. On the CSV file, just click on the three dots, click on copy path, the path will be copied, and then within this inverted commas, paste that path. Okay. Okay, done. Okay. And just, just click on run. Okay. Uh, no error. The file has been successfully imported and stored in the data frame file. If you want to check if the file has been successfully imported or not, just click hit DS. And if I run this, yep, the file has been successfully imported and these are the data entries, right? So this is how you import a CSV file in your Python file, Python or whatever the interpreter is. Okay. Like I have used, I'm using collab. So this is the way if you are using, uh, like if you're using Jupyter or like, you know, like VS, VS code or PyCharm, then just, uh, whatever the file, you know, if I like my file is here, just click on this file, show the properties, just copy the like path of that, uh, file and just apply the same code and you can like, you know, uh, get the same results because we are using an uh, online interpreter. That's why we are, you know, we have to like import the file first online and then we have to like, you know, uh, store that CSV file. There are many methods to do so, but uh, for the sake of simplicity and so that everybody can use, I'm using Colab. Okay. Uh, I'm, get, I'm getting an error, error like in Charvarma tracker, but still. Uh, like what is the error you're showing, uh, getting? Uh, so file not found, but I have uploaded the file and uh, it's like trace back most you can. Uh, okay. 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 Hmm. Have you imported the file? Yeah, I've done, I've done it. Okay. Have you copied the path? Yeah, I've done the file once more. Okay. Okay. Let me do I it once, to... one again. Okay. Once again. Okay. Sure. I'll delete the cell, delete the cell. Okay, let's a df is equal to pd dot read underscore csv and then inverted commas. I will just put the like you know, click this copy path and paste and run.
till här till mig för så gör något. Yes, so it's okay. Okay. And print that file if Like, see, uh, like the no, Python. Like it's, it's in. Okay, uh, like, can you share your screen? Oh, uh, yes, just a second. Okay. Yeah, can you share the file once again? Okay. Yes, okay. That he continued to sample in a phone. Uh, is it visible? Uh, you have not uploaded the file, my friend. Okay. No. Where is that CSV file? It's on the desktop. Yeah. Uh, okay. Just click on that upload. Uh, click on that. Uh, the file screen. Check the first column. Oh, where? Uh, the left hand side. File screen. Just niche. Just the file screen. How? Yeah. No, so just niche. Oh. Can you see your cursor? Just okay. uh, is it available now? Uh, yeah, no, 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 not here. Yeah, just super uh, files can each upper upper or upper. Uh, yeah, files click on and then just files click how I know. Files click how I was going to click I could option and upload files. Go up a scooper is a super scooper. This is a super. Yeah, that's many many cards. But to file. Ensure the result says this will be deleted when this time is terminated. Okay, just close this. Okay. Close this X one one file which I've just opened. The bin file you've opened. Close it. <coughs> Scroll up. <coughs> that data CSV file you see the last one in the last. You have uploaded file in sample data. Last niche or niche or niche 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 niche. Ah, just click on the three dots. Here, copy the path. Paste this path here. Now run. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. okay. Please close your screen. Okay. Anyone else having any doubt? Uh, are you getting any error? No sir. Okay. No sir. Okay. See. Okay. Okay. When uh, I have printed that file, you you can see that uh, it's not printing the whole file, the upper five and the last five. Okay. So if I want to like you know just print the first ten like entries, so I can just like you know write print a uh, df dot head. Head means the starting elements and whatever number of elements I want to print. For example, if see, uh, I read ten, and if I ten, uh, uh, if I run the code then it will print the starting 10 elements starting 10 entries again okay. and similarly if i want to print the you know uh, last 10 elements so i will just write print df dot tail in bracket 10 and if i run this i'll get the last 10 elements of the data set okay so this was all about uh, this was about like you know to print the number of elements you want to print in the data set if I want to get, I want to print uh, like the info about a data set, like what is the data and what are the columns and what are the number of entries, I can just write dprint df dot info. And then this it will give me the like you know, okay, there are one sixty nine entries. Uh, the columns are total total number four columns. What are the names? Duration, pulse, max pulse, calories. The data types used are float and the integer. Let me use five point four. Okay, so these are the things. Uh, like this is what we call the visualization of the data, the viewing of the data. Okay, so there's some uh, small functions of how to like you know uh, how to access your data data set which you have just imported, or if you want to like visualize what are the elements in the data set. Okay. 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 Next thing is uh, we are going to work on cleaning the data. Like you know, what can be the things which we can do 
and uh, like in the sense if there isn't wrong entry in the data or sorry okay yeah uh, if there are wrong in data or if there is a missing value in the data then how you can like you know work on that let's see how you can work on that Mm -mm -mm. I have a data set. Then, if you want to remove, like, uh, if in the data set, if you want to, if I want to remove any data set, if any, uh, any, any, any data entry, like, what can we do? Okay. New DFs, I have named this okay, and as a DF drop any okay, and if I print this new DF dot to string, if I run this, let's see what's gonna happen. So you can see it is done. Basically, if uh, you can see there is not uh, any single missing values in data set. Okay. It has removed the, all the rows or the elements, which were like, you know, having an empty data set. If you see the uh, actual data set in total 19, you can see, is there an empty data set? And if you look, uh, it has, uh, there's no uh, entry or no, no empty data cell in the Excel sheet. So that's one way to remove the empty cells key we, we can uh, like uh, if there's a data set and there's an empty entry what are you going to do first thing is just remove this entire row okay other one is like fill that empty space with some value like what are the values you can fill it with so the uh, major thing which we uh, like which we use is we take the average of all the data entries in this particular column okay like whatever the like the average comes as x then we can fill all the empty blocks with X. Let's see how you can do this. Can you repeat this? Okay. I just said that, uh, you know, like this was my data set and we can see that, okay, in calories column, there are certain entries which have the empty, empty. Okay. There's empty. And I want to fill this, uh, or like, uh, how to tackle with this data entry. So one way is like, okay. I will remove this entire row from my data set. I will not consider only this data set. They said data entry. Okay. Another one is key like, okay, uh, what are the values? If I know the value, okay. Like data entry, can time I want to check like in, now I know, okay, this was the value. I can simply put the values. What is X, Y, Z. Okay. But if I don't know the value, uh, so like by which value I can replace that this empty cell. So in general, we take the average of all the data elements in this particular column. Okay. For example, let's say the X average comes as X, then I can replace all the empty columns with X. Okay. So these are the things by which you can tackle with the empty cells in a data set. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. For example, um, uh, first thing is, okay. Let's see how you can tackle. If I just write df dot fill na, it's a function to fill the empty cells. Fill na and thirty in place equal to true. Okay, this this means that wherever there is empty space, we'll fill the empty space with the value of one thirty. Okay, I've run this, and now wherever the empty space will be there and this is going to be filled with what 130. If we again print df. Uh, okay, it's not showing here, but uh, whatever the empty space will be there in the, it will be, it's now filled with 130. If I want to change with some other value like 50, then it will uh, fill with 50. So, like, this is one way. And if I want to fill with like a uh, the whole data set what are the empty whatever whatever the empty cells are and if you are importing uh if you are replacing uh wherever the empty cells are we're replacing all the cells by 130. if i want to like you know for this particular column only if i want to uh replace that with this 130 uh, how we can do this uh, we can just write as df 
bracket the feature name calories a and that will write fill na 130 in place is equal to true now in the feature section in the in the, in the feature calorie whatever wherever the, there is a empty cell it will fill the with 130 because I've already filled it with 130, so you will you won't be able to see if it's affected or not. But uh, in the starting only, if I have uh, just you know run this command, then in calories wherever there is empty space, it will be filled with 130. So uh, okay, another one is you know as I said the uh, uh, I mean, I want to fill that empty cell with the average of all the all the like you know elements of this particular entry. So how you can do this? So you can just write like say if x is the mean just write pf calories okay. and just write mean if i run this let's calculate and if i print the value of x it's 36 point something okay so just uh, because me it's a, it's a function in python because uh, if you just, uh, like if you just write mean dot uh, dot whatever, but uh, like whatever the feature is, whatever the column name is, and dot mean, it will automatically calculate the mean of that all the elements present in that particular uh, column. Okay, so I want to replace all the elements with x. So you know how what what uh, what we are gonna write? Just write df, the same code. Just in place of one thirty, I will just write x because I have replaced that because I want to replace all the elements with the mean of that. Okay. And if I run this, all the limits, all the empty cells will be replaced with X. So this is how you tackle with the empty empty cells of our data set. Okay. Okay. Hmm. So this was about the pre-processing part or like, you know, how to tackle with data or how to like, you know, tackle with uh, different things. Another thing is, there are many things uh, in the data set we could tackle, like a duplicate data set or the wrong format data set or wrong entry in the data set. I'll just see, uh, tell you, I've told you about the, you know, the empty cells. Okay. If I want to remove the duplicates, I can just write, you know, this another function tf dot drop uh, underscore duplicates in place is equal to true. So wherever the duplicate ent entries will be, all the duplicate entries will be removed from this data set. Okay. If I again print that data set now, let's see what we get. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now you can see there are 162 rows. Earlier we have 169 rows, but now we have 162 rows because all the duplicate entries are, have been removed. Okay, by this function drop underscore duplicates. So these are some certain functions which we apply on, you know, to find the like to like to visualize the data or to like pre-process the data. Okay, now I just said like this was uh, how you're gonna use NumPy and Python pandas basically. Now uh, I'm gonna share another file by using which we are gonna create a linear regression model. Okay. Let me just share in the file again the WhatsApp group. You all receive the sign, uh, the file.
Okay, you got all. You all got that file. Mm, yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Let me share. I can share the screen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is the file. It has two entries. Okay, someone has. Okay. Uh, okay, this is the Excel sheet. Okay, it has only two columns: TV and sales. A certain TV model, and what are the what was the sale of that particular model? It's given. Okay, so we are going to work on this of like you know if we're given given a certain values in the uh, of the model, we have to see if like what will the sale of that particular model again. So again, first thing is that we have to import that CSV file in our, you know, collab. Just click on file option. Import, click on this upload to session storage. Click on that TV marketing CSV file and open. Okay. It's been successfully imported in the collab notebook. Now, next thing is I want to store that I want to import that uh, particular CSV file in my notebook. So I will create another you know, data frame. Let's call it as advertising. ED dot, what is the code for recording a CSV file? Read underscore CSV. Yeah, ED dot read underscore CSV. Okay. And then this copy the path of this file paste it sorry copy path and click on run okay. the file is successfully imported yes sir well, i'm getting error like pd is not defined by okay pd is not defined uh okay and then before this line, just uh, write this line. Import pandas as PD. Then write, write this line. Okay. Again, run uh, run this, and then again run this. Okay. It's giving you error because you have not imported pandas yet. Mm -hmm. And if you have imported pandas, then um, like you don't have to write pandas every time. So just I'm um, import pandas as PD, like just a short form. Okay. Uh, print advertising or what? Sorry. Uh, do we have to print advertising or what? Yeah, you can you can check if the service has been put in or not. Just click okay. print advertising. You will okay. see it there. In uh, in my case, I'm not getting the green tick, but a white one. Uh, uh, click on this run. Which? You have write this. You have written this line. Yes, uh, yes. Just click on uh, just click on this play. Uh, yes, I clicked it. Hmm. And I am getting white uh, tick. 
but and like the zero second with the white one. Okay, just write this. Uh, print advertising. Okay. If it's printing, then uh, slow show. Sure. Everything's good. Okay. Okay. सब निकले यहां तक यप ओके ओके एडवर्टाइजमेंट हैज बीन प्रिंटेड लेट्स सी द फर्स्ट फाइव एलिमेंट्स ऑफ दैट जस्ट राइट एडवर्टाइजिंग डॉट हेड एंड देन दिस फर्स्ट फाइव एलिमेंट्स शुड बी प्रिंटेड ओके इट्स गुड इफ आई वांट टू प्रिंट द इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर डेटा फाइल जस्ट राइट एडवर्टाइजिंग डॉट इन्फो and it will give you the information about this particular data set if i want to see the size of the data set just write advertising dot shape okay and we get 200 comma 2 200 comma 2 means it has 202 entries and two columns 200 entries and two columns okay you can see we have 200 entries as the first one is the column name and two columns so the size is 200 comma 1 okay and uh if you know you want to like analyze the data or like you know uh like get, want to get the all the statistical information about data just write advertising or describe uh, how is this shape defined shape is basically uh it's uh, shape defines the you know the size of your data set Like two hundred comma two means there are two hundred entries. So like the two hundred rows and two columns. Yeah, two hundred rows and two columns. Two uh two hundred cross two, a matrix, you know. Uh, thank you. Okay. Shape and then just if you want to get all the statistical information about this data set, just write advertising dot describe. And if you can print this, it give you the mean of all the data, standard deviation, the minimum, twenty five percent of data, fifty percent of data. max value whatever okay all the like statistical information about data now if you want to this you know like uh, plot this data in a graphical form like you have you want to visualize this data then we are going to use the plot function okay just write advertising dot plot Uh, in the x axis let's say i want to keep the pv column and in the y axis i want to keep the sales column sorry sales and what type of graph i want to plot let's write kind is equal to cat just run this so it will like plot the all the data entries like you know this is how you plot a graph in python okay till now uh, we have just uh, uh, we have just imported the data file perform certain functions on data file visualize the data file and like predict some uh, like calculate some statistical values and we have plotted a data graph okay now based on this graph only we have to like we will create a vector linear regression model first of all like uh, what is a linear regression model okay linear regression model is basically something uh, it is a linear line okay like uh, what is the equation for a line the linear line in general mathematical term y equals to y equals to mx plus 
okay y is equal to mx plus c okay so that same function we are going to apply here if i can open like you know with can, the help of paint i can can you show the code once again uh, like previous code from for this one mm -hmm. okay okay let's see if Okay, so that is why is equal to m x plus c. Okay, sorry. Okay, so like this equation, if we just uh, say about this equation, mm, okay, just see uh, what is m here? It's a slope, right? And c is that you know intercept. Okay, it it's all about mathematical terms. Okay, uh, we want to imply the same thing in machine learning. So what happens in machine learning basically? This m and c, we don't write as m and c. We write it as theta naught and theta one. Okay, these are called as parameters. Okay. Because y is what we want to calculate, x is the input, and m and c are basically the thetas, the parameters, which we're gonna update so that we can get the good results. Okay. If we want to like, if we want a result y, but we are getting a result y dash, then what is the error? Y minus y dash, right? This is the error, or you can just say this is a loss. Okay, so uh, here um, we are just gonna calculate how we are gonna calculate this law. Okay, so this was my original function, mathematical terms. Y is equal to m x plus c, but in machine learning, in linear regression, we write it as h naught x is equal to theta naught plus theta one x same thing instead of this uh, m c and y i have it in this okay because simply if x is the input okay and h not x is the processing part it gives you the certain y value okay and if you want y this this is the actual value or oh, this is the like target value and this is the predicted value which we have just predicted using our function so the error will be y minus y dash okay now there are two or three things which comes in linear regression first first one is cost function okay What is cost function? Cost function is basically uh, it calculates the error. Our main aim is whenever we build a machine learning model, our main aim is to minimize this cost function as possible. Okay, like whatever the uh, like if the cost function is minimum, we will get the minimum error. Like the, the the error is minimum and our model is as perfect as as, as it can be. Okay, so what is the formula for cost function? J is, we don't need by J. Uh, it's equal to one upon number of observations into summation of h naught x, which is my predicted value, minus y, which is my target value, plus square. This is the formula for you know calculating the cost function. This is the formula. This is the formula. This is the formula. This is the formula. This is the functions. But you have to like get the uh, you have to you should have the knowledge of how we are calculating it how we are getting the values okay okay cost function gradient descent whatever you can say this j okay now this and this h naught x is basically what theta naught plus theta one x okay uh let's assume if my theta, if I take my theta naught as equal to one and theta one is equal to two, 
okay and if i have given certain input as x is equal to 5 what will the value of this function it will be you know 1 plus 2 into 5 which is 11 okay matlab so, ye mera y tha na h not x value kitni aayi y aayi theek hai basically y dash and i want to have like but my but my target value was y is equal to 15 but i am getting y is equal to 11 so what is my error here 15 minus 11 4 is my error which means like okay matlab i am getting error of 4 so what are the things which can uh, which we can change in this equation x is going to be 5 always y to me calculate karna hai basically we want to change y not and uh, sorry ye theta not and theta 1 these are two things which are going to change so that my output will change and my error will get reduced so we are going to update these thetas these parameters uh thoda pichhe da ho gaya hoga abhi tak pata ho kahan tak samajh mein aaya okay uh clear hai yahan tak so that formula no yes, sir. sir can you please repeat yeah sure यहां तक लिया था इफ माय वाई इज इक्वल टू लेट्स मी चेंज द कलर वाई ब्लैक है जी लग रहा है वाई इज इक्वल टू एमएक्स प्लस सी बट हियर वी वांट इट एज वी वी राइट इट एज एच नॉट एक्स व्हिच इज इक्वल टू थीटा नॉट प्लस थीटा वन एक्स ओके दिस इज द इक्वेशन फॉर लीनियर रिग्रेशन बेसिकली दिस इज द वाई डैश व्हिच वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग this is the x is the input and the theta not and theta 1 are the parameters okay parameters now let's see if uh i want my y to be 15 theek okay. hai i have my equation as y dash is equal to theta not plus theta one x, okay. And I have initially set my parameters as theta one is theta not is equal to one, and theta one is equal to two, okay. Okay. Can you mute yourself? Pass in the ruler. Okay. Okay. See the inputs, and I am giving an input as x is equal to you know five. So what will be the value of y according to these values? Y dash will be. It will come as one plus two into five, eleven. I'm getting as y is equal to eleven, but my target y was fifteen. So what is the error? Fifteen minus eleven, which is four. I'm getting an error of four, right? So how how we how, how I can reduce this error? What are the things I can change in this equation? X to input five is, so five will be there. Y is something I calculate can't be. So basically, I have to update theta not or theta one. I have to update these two values so that I can get my you know error as minimum as possible okay so our main job is to update these thetas these parameters okay so how you we we, uh, we update these thetas basically uh, it's what we call as gradient descent algorithm its formula is theta new is equal to theta old minus alpha into partial derivative of the cost function with respect to the theta not or theta 1 okay this is how this is uh, how we going to you know update the thetas alpha is basically learning rate learning is nothing but it says how fast your model is learning okay ye formula ki baatein ho gayi jo bahut dimag kharab karne wali hoti hain and literally it's of no use okay but for the sake of you know knowledge you should have the knowledge of how machine learning model actually works actually how linear regression or gradient descent what is 
what is gain descent what is cost function what is learning rate you should have information about this okay so this is how you update that theta so that uh, our error gets minimum if you want to see the code for this uh, like in my initial year i have done this for like calculating the cost function we initialize m is equal to 0 0 0 l is basically the learning rate epox is about uh, like how many iterations i want to run this particular function and then i calculate this function and then i create the okay error ye normal coding baat hogi but here we, we are not going to use such type of functions let's see how you're going to uh, work on without using these formulas or without you know dimag kharab ke zyada okay so let's see so first of all just hamara input kya tha feature input kya tha x hamara input hai basically so input mein hum log isko lenge jo first column tha this one we will take it this as an input and i am going to predict this values these values okay so just write it as capital x is equal to but i think uh yeah i'm just gonna like throw late ho raha hai because throw late start kiya tha koi baat nahi chalte finish karte hain se okay maine x naam ka variable banaya and i have stored the first column the tv column in the x variable okay and if i just print x dot head i will get all the you know x inputs use this here similarly i want to predict the y i will just write advertising sales and if i just write y dot head sorry sorry okay i printed y now i want to train my data so just as uh, i said we have we are going to use scikit learn or library scikit learn is another library which is uh, which is used for machine learning models to like you know import certain functions or like certain perform certain functions okay so i will just write from sk learn dot model selection import train underscore test underscore split basically it's a train split a train test split is a like you know function from sk learn which helps to you know divide the data set in certain parts like if i have 200 entries in our data set okay so i will i'm going to uh, divide uh, 140 for training and the other 60 for testing for testing purpose okay so that's how we're going to do this uh, we'll just write you know we'll create four uh, four features sorry x train from a x test y train my y test equal to train underscore test this is syntax of how we write uh, the split x comma y and training size is let's see 0.7 means 70% of the data will be used for training and another feature is random random is equal to 0 random 0 means we are not adding any extra features or don't want to like you know add any extra layers of training in the model just as 0 0 and this okay this has been done so, uh, this has been successfully executed which means i have created four data uh, four uh, like there are 200 entries and now for the training purpose i have divided 130 for uh, 140 for training and other 60 for testing purpose because i have set a train size as 0.7 which means 70% of the data will be used for training and other for testing okay now if uh, uh, i want to see the size of what are the size of you know training x train and x test and whatever these are two things then let's see what are the size dot shape okay I'm just going to copy this sorry 
Okay, go to the C. Control the C. X test or Y train. X test and sorry. Y test. Okay, I'm gonna run this. Okay, so training clip 140 allocate okay. Weekly testing, weekly uh, training clip 140 okay. Testing clip 660 okay. Okay. No, just okay. अब हमें क्या करना है? Simply clean the question. मतलब import करना है. तो जो मैंने बताया कि एक लंबा सा code लिखो. For the question first, cross function, then gradient descent. उसके लिए. Otherwise, you can simply write from sklearn. Dot linear model. Okay, import linear regression. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's done. From SQLN, we have imported linear regression function, and just like say, all are equal to linear regression, and run this, and just you know, because SQLN basically uh. Mm, like uh, includes all the function. We don't. You don't have to do anything from your side. Just give them values, and it will automatically train that model, and it will automatically give the values. So I'm going just going to fit my training set in that LR. I'll just write x dot train, comma y underscore train. Okay. Will fit. Okay, it's saying me to reshape my data. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm getting error. Okay, 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 okay. Let me just reshape my data. And this we are gonna use using NumPy. Import NumPy as NP. NP, and just write strain is equal to strain. Be dot new axis because the first column base basically was the you know first row was the column name no so that's why I think it's getting an error. So I'm just gonna uh, like you know uh, remove that first column the so first row sorry. And be dot new axis. Also, it's new axis. Okay, successful. Okay. Now, if I run this line of code, you can see. Yeah, one one column has been added for the train and the testing set. And now, if I run this thing, LR. Okay, LR. Voila. LR dot fit x underscore train comma y underscore train. Okay, it has uh, the model has been trained, and if I want to like you know make the predictions, just write by like I've created another file by prediction, and you know just predict LR dot predict. Yes, the testing set, which the uh, like the other sixty we have divided for the testing now. So I'm gonna use this, and if I print this y prediction, okay. So it has given me the you know, if I print the x test. Sorry, capital X. So these were the like these were the entries for testing, 
and these are the like if i have just uh, uh, basically i have trained this model on the basis of x test okay for the values of x test i have predicted the values and i have received these values so for these entries these are the predicted values uh, i have an error here like it's saying uh, numpy has no attribute for new access uh, new access just then check the spelling जस्ट यू नो give your values to the uh, function and it will automatically calculate and predict the model so i know aaj ka session thoda wo tha kyunki because for ones who are using first time python unke liye itna easy nahi raha hoga first time samajhte ki kaise kaise kya hua but you know first time jab maine kiya tha fir humne jab jab start kiya tha machine learning karna to hamare liye bhi aise hi tha but like dheere dheere practice karte karte gaye to apne aap cheez samajh mein aane lag gayi ki okay ye cheez aise ho rahi hai ye cheez aise ho rahi hai ye cheez aise ho rahi hai so uh yeah this is the first model like linear regression model iske baad the more is so like when we will come to deep learning you will have certain functions like keras okay in that we will create layers which will will basically you tell you in detail about that okay so this was uh what i want to do today like uh how you gonna like import a data set in your python file how you gonna apply certain functions or how you gonna pre process that data how you going to like uh, create a linear regression model of your role and how you going to train that linear regression model with a data set so this was what the agenda for today was sir, can think... you yeah sir can you will uh, share the colab file with us yeah sure 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 this file will be shared with you the file the ppt and the data sets all will be shared with you all the things will be shared with you uh, in the whatsapp group or via mail don't worry about that sir is there any topic left for today or we will quit uh, no no that that's that was it for today uh, i know so late bhi ho gaya hai uh, but if uh, like a uh, kisi ko doubt hai ko bhi doubt hai to please you can ask and uh, recording uh, recording session will be shared with you all so jahan bhi doubt aa gaya to ek baar recording session sunna samajh mein aa jayega kya hoga kya or like jab bhi if you are coding okay and if you are getting any type of error just the main uh, like one thing i do is always just copy the error and simply go on google and search the first site will come is stack overflow then uh, you can see on stack overflow mm, duniya mein kahin na kahin kisi ko to wo error aaye hoga basically and stack overflow is basically like you know like a community and where people ask their doubts and whatever the error they are getting and they get solution over there okay so you can just uh, yeah yeah सर जैसे कि वो एक फाइल आपने भेजी थी एडवर्टाइज टीवी नेटवर्किंग करके तो वो पर्टिकुलर फाइल थी हाँ. तो उसकी जगह कोला विद द यूज ऑफ कोला वी कैन इंपोर्ट आवर होल फोल्डर इन इट यू कैन इंपोर्ट अ होल फोल्डर इन दिस सर मतलब फोल्डर भी इसमें इंपोर्ट करवा सकते हैं क्या हां यू कैन आई वाज जस्ट इंपोर्टिंग द फाइल फ्रॉम हियर राइट इफ आई वांट टू लाइक यू नो क्या कहते हैं Update a certain folder. You can import that folder also. Like, if I just click on, you know, if this is my archive folder, okay. And if I just open this, the you see this whole folder is open here. And if you open this folder, uh, whatever the data file, okay, it downloaded here. But here, but here, if I want to import this file, copy this, copy the path, and you can import that particular file. But generally, because because but generally we since generally use a csv file so we generally just import a csv file and then copy the path of the csv file and then run karte hain okay oh, okay uh, mm-hmm. that was it for today but this ko bhi error aa raha tha bhi please wait for one second i will clear your doubt uh, other than that if anyone else having any doubt ये वो वो बताना कि आपने ये x x लिए ट्रेन फिर फिर x लिए टेस्ट टेस्ट फिर x y लिए ट्रेन के लिए फिर y लिए टेस्ट के लिए हां ये क्या चीज होती है ओके देखो 
लाइक यहाँ पर हमारे पास टू हंड्रेड एंट्रीज है ठीक है yes. अब या तो मैं ऐसा कर सकता हूँ कि पूरे दो सौ बार मैं अपने मॉडल को ट्रेन कर दू फिर न्यू डेटा एंट्रीज दू और उसपे अपने लाइक रिजल्ट को टेस्ट करूँ की रिजल्ट क्या आ रहा है राइट right. बट uh, अब हम कैसी एंट्री देंगे कैसी एंट्री देंगे तो वो उतना लाइक like, वो नहीं होता कि हाँ मतलब जेनुन नहीं होता कि हाँ मतलब कोई भी एंट्री दे रहे हैं फिर उसमें एरर कितना तुम कितनी दस एंट्री दोगे बीस एंट्री दोगे अब उतने में तुम एरर अपना जो कॉस्ट है जो भी एरर है एक्यूरेसी वो कैलकुलेट नहीं कर सकते हो सो वॉट वी डू इज बेसिकली फॉलो अर सेवेंटी टू थर्टी रेशियो रूल ओके इन विच वी डिवाइड द सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ द डेटा फॉर ट्रेनिंग ओके हम सेवेंटी परसेंट डेटा को ट्रेन करते हैं और जो बचा हुआ थर्टी परसेंट है उसको हम अपने मॉडल को नहीं बताते हैं और उस फिर उसके बाद जब ट्रेनिंग हो जाती है तो उन थर्टी परसेंट डेटा पे हम मॉडल को फिर टेस्ट करते हैं कि चलो बताओ कि तुम इन थर्टी मॉडल्स पे क्योंकि हमें पता भी है कि उसका थर्टी परसेंट आउटपुट क्या होने वाला है जो बचे हुए थर्टी है उनका तो पता है ना कि हाँ इनके आउटपुट ये ये सारे इनके आउटपुट है so based on that we can calculate the like you know uh, the test we can test the, okay okay agar mera output agar 12.6 tha lekin mera agar output 11.5 aa raha hai accuracy tha achhi hai to bata sakta hu na main ki ha okay mera itna error aa raha hai hmm kuch value pata hai iski so that's why we basically uh, divide the 70 30 rule we use the 70 30 rule so here that's why we have i divide like x train because ye wala mera x tha aur ye mera y hai hmm. तो इसके इसका सेवेंटी परसेंट कितना होगा दोस्तों का लाइक ऑलमोस्ट वन फोर्टी होगा ठीक है तो वन फोर्टी इज फॉर ट्रेनिंग एंड द अदर सिक्सटी इज फॉर टेस्टिंग सिमिलरली फॉर वाई वन फोर्टी इज फॉर ट्रेनिंग एंड सिक्सटी इज फॉर टेस्टिंग एंड जस्ट लाइक आई हैव पेंटेड द शेप ऑफ दिस एक्स ट्रेन एक्स टेस्ट एक्स वाई ट्रेन एंड वाई टेस्ट सो आई हैव लाइक रिसीव दिस वैल्यू वन फोर्टी वन फोर्टी सिक्सटी सिक्सटी एंड देन हम उसपे उसपे अपने ट्रेन किया ट्रेन साइज में डिफाइन कर सकते जीरो पॉइंट सेवन अगर मैं इसको जीरो पॉइंट फाइव कर देता और तब मैं इसको रन करता of this current karta so so you can see 100 is for training 100 is for testing basically okay. half so we can uh, the general uh, you know you, you can see like you can say that the standard value for testing and training split is mm-hmm. 70 is to 30 okay. that's why i have used 0.7 as training size okay thank you Okay. Anyone else? Okay. Uh, then if uh, you're not having any doubt, thank you. And uh, who was the one like was getting any error? Yeah, that that was me. Okay. Please share your screen. Anyone else? If if you're having doubt, you can stay or like you know you can. <laughs> Okay, Thank you, sir. Okay, welcome. Okay, Hasya, you can share your screen. Uh, is it visible? Mm, yeah, it's visible. Okay, you have imported NumPy and NumPy has no even new access. What is the error here? You have imported extreme. Uh, no, they see you have the spelling wrong, na? New access, new X access, nia. New access, N E W E X I S. Yeah, N E W A X I S. Okay. No, I have to what? No, you have to. You can check by uh, printing the shape of that training and it uh, testing session. Just write print x underscore train dot shape, and if you run, you can see. One quote, forty point one. Okay. So this is uh, what? This is you have like you have split your training data set in the uh, training and testing part. Okay. 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 Now you have to like import the linear exit function. So just create one more shell and import 
नहीं फ्रॉम एस्किलन फ्रॉम नॉट फ्रॉम एस्केलन डॉट लीनियर मॉडल एस्केलन डॉट लीनियर मॉडल लीनियर अंडरस्कोर मॉडल स्मॉल एल ओके इंपोर्ट लीनियर रिलेशन स्पेस इंपोर्ट कैपिटल एल लीनियर रिलेशन एंड कैपिटल आर डॉट फिट X train and Y train. Uh, this is my what? Okay. Now you have trained your model. But basically, your linear regression has been fitted in this. Uh, the training and data set has been fitted by in the linear regression function, and now you are. You you know, ready to print the values. How is it getting trained? Like, no, no. It's uh, basically uh, uh, it's showing that okay, this function has been executed. Okay. Okay. Now okay. for the prediction part, just uh, create one more line, code, and just write y underscore whatever you want, like three p r d p r e d underscore oh. y underscore p r e d prediction. Is equal to lr dot predict on which value you want to predict. We have like the testing part, right? So give the brackets and just write x underscore test. Okay, done this. Okay, just now print y. PRED. I guess I wrote Y P R E D. No, yeah, print a Y pred. So what is what is whatever it is. These are the values. Uh, if you want to check, uh, you can see in the Excel file uh, for the testing. Uh, You can just print the y if you want to print the y testing part x x testing part. Mm -hmm. so then you can check uh, if it's valid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's all about you know, how you're gonna train about it. Now I would have uh, shown you the graph, you know, by plotting the.